What's going on guys? It is Absence of Serious Biz and today I'm just going to be showing you a tutorial on how to do a, a basic gunshot in Adobe After Effects. I'm not going to do anything fancy, um, so don't expect anything fancy. This is just for the people that want to learn how to do a basic gunshot in Adobe After Effects. So let's just go ahead and get this started. So you go to File, Import, and you got to find the, uh, the video that you want to edit and put the gunshot on. I named it Tut, which is short for tutorial. Um, so you just double click on it, press OK. Um, here's a video right here, so you just take it, drag it down to this little box right here. Um, and as you can see here, um, this is like the video right here. So you just gotta find where the gunshot occurs. Um, right here, I'm just gonna play it and pause it when the gunshot occurs. Alright, so right there. Um, you're not going to be able to pause it perfectly on where the gunshot occurs, so you just pause it on the closest you can get it to the gunshot, and then you go frame by frame and try to get to where the gunshot happened, which about right here. Um, so once you are at where the gunshot occurs, you go to File, Import Again, File, and um, to be able to get a gunshot, it's really easy. You just go to Google Google Images search muzzle flashes on Google Images and a bunch of muzzle flashes should come up and um, make sure that the muzzle flash has uh, a black background so that you are able to put it in the video um, and I just you can save it wherever you want I just saved it in my video section because I save you know pretty much anything that has to do with the video in the video section um, so I go to my gunshots here I just named it pistol flash one I just found this on Google Images double click on it as you can see, it's right here. So you just take it and drag it into the video. Drop it anywhere. It doesn't really matter. But as you can see, that looks kind of poopy because it has a black background. But the way to fix that is you right-click on it, go to Blending Mode, and then up to Screen. And then the black background should go away. So then, muzzle flashes... Whoops. Your muzzle flashes should... I mean, it seems like they should be small, but they really should not. They should be pretty big. That's... That's the main mistake people that make YouTube videos make is that they make the muzzle flashes way too small and it looks stupid. So I wouldn't recommend making them too small. Make them as big as this. This is good. So right there. All right. So once you have it positioned, you don't want that to be there for the entire video. So you take the timeline for the pistol flash and you shorten it down to the red line. That's where the video is paused and then you shorten this side down to just one frame which is about that so let's just test it out see how it looks so you play it that looks pretty good alright so there's the next gunshot so again you're just gonna go frame by frame try to find where the gunshot occurs which is right there as you can see again just drag it in right click blending mode screen um, don't make it too small. Um, that's a little too big. Whoops. And right there, that's good. And again, shorten it to just one frame. And then shorten this. Make sure it's at one frame. Good. And then let's see how that looks. Looks good. And there's the next gunshot. Whoops. Um, I accidentally played it. Let me do that again. Crap. <laughs> My bad. I missed it. Okay, here we go. Right there. Alright, again, frame by frame, backwards. And more or less try to get it to right where the gunshot occurs, which is about... Uh, about right there, that should be good. Again, drag it in. Blending mode. Uh, screen. And about yay. Whoops. About yay big. That's about good. And once again, shorten it to one frame. Now this program, I know it seems, it looks scary and hard and difficult, but um, it's really, this program is really repetitive. Once you start going, you're not, it's kind of like riding a bike. You're never going to forget. Um, it's pretty, like, 
it's it's really easy. It's a pretty user friendly program. So don't be scared by looking at it and there's like a million features everywhere. Um, you're not going to use most of them anyway. So don't be intimidated by this program. It's not that not that difficult. So let's just see how that looks. All right, and it looks pretty good. So I'm now finished with that. I only did three shots. Now again, I'm not going. I'm not doing it su anything super fancy because um, this is, is in fact just a basic tutorial for people that are just starting and don't want to do anything fancy. Just have like bland gunshots, um, which they look they look okay. I guess they're not they, they're not the best looking, obviously. But um, I will make an advanced tutorial for those advanced people that want to learn. Um, soon I'm not sure when so once you're done you are you know that the video is good you know that you like it um, recheck it two three times just to make sure that it's good check it from the beginning um, just to make sure that it's good everything's fine and dandy alright that seems good alright wham bam we'll ride the clamp Alright, so once you're done with the video, you might be asking, well, how do I render it out? How do I, how do I finish it? Well, to render your video, you go to Composition, uh, Make Movie, and you've got to make sure you do this. If you want sound in your video, if you talk in the video, you have to click right here, it says Lossless. You click on that, make sure you check the audio output. Make sure you do that. So you press OK. And then once you know you're fine, have anything done, press render. And it won't take too long to render, so I'm not going to pause recording anything. And you can see here the preview. Um, you can just watch it, make sure everything's good. Yep, good, good, good. You'll hear that sound when it's done, and it's saved. Whoops. I just dropped my mouse. Okay. So, it will default, by default, it will save to your videos tab. So, um, just to make sure, type in videos. Um, it's saved in my YouTube Ready Video thing. And then we can watch it. Boom shakalaka, this is for Just to make sure everything is good in, um, for YouTube. Yep. Yep. And yep. All right, good. So you can exit out of that. All right, now you're wondering, how do I add the gunshot sounds? Well, um, if again, you can just go to Google search, type in Modern Warfare 3 gun sounds, and that should um, it'll probably take you to a website, and then you can just download all the Modern Warfare 3 gunshot sounds, and they sound pretty good. Um, so that's the gunshot sounds that I use. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Now, if you're wondering how to add that to the video, I use Windows Movie Maker because it's really easy. Uh, people are prejudiced towards this towards this program because it comes with your computer and it's free. Uh, but I have nothing really against it, to be honest. It's really easy to use, really easy to add gunshot sounds to. So this is what I use. So um, so to add your video, you just go to Add Videos and Photos, um, add your video, as you can see here. Now you want to zoom, zoom in a little bit. Um, it'll probably take a couple times, so you can know exactly where you're putting your gunshot. Um, you'll probably have to zoom in a couple times, and that should be good. All right, so you play it. Boom, shakalaka! This is for the tutorial video in on um, for YouTube. All right, and then. Alright, so you pause it right on the gunshot again. You don't have to pause it perfectly on the gunshot. You can again go frame by frame and actually, okay. So you can go frame by frame and do it exactly when the gunshot occurs. Press add music. And then again, I said you can download like all the Modern Warfare 3 gunshot sounds. I saved them in real life sounds that stands for real life video sounds. Click on that. You can go to secondaries because I'm using a pistol handguns and you can use any pistol sound you want. I'm just gonna use the 
I guess the five seven sound. I mean, why not? Okay, so you gotta drag it to where the gunshot occurs. All right, so right there again, frame by frame. Um, about right there. So you just have to remember where it was right here, and then you just drag it to where about where it was, and then you can check it. Um, I can't hear it because I actually have speakers and I don't want it to disrupt the video. I don't, I'm not sure if I have any headphones, but I do want to check it real quick. So if you hear like a background gunshot noise, that's just because I'm using my speakers. So let me see. Um, it's a little bit too late, so you can just, again, just drag it back a little bit. A um, little bit late still, a little bit more. Just check that one more time. Alright, that's perfect. Alright, wait. Alright, there's the next one. Okay, so again, you can just press add music, um, 5 7, and then drag it to where the gunshot was, and then check it. Perfect. Alright, and then you can again add music. Five seven. There it is. Wait, right here. And then again, drag it to where the gunshot occurs. A little bit late. All right, so let's check it all together. Perfect. And then you're good. So once you have all of your gunshot sounds in there. You just press this little tab right here, save movie. Um, I have my own. Go down. I have my own custom setting. It's called for YouTube HD. Uh, this is just 720p, or you can do zoom HD for 720p uh, display. Or I, I just use a custom setting because I trust it more than this setting. <clears throat> so you just press. Uh, you render it. You save it as wherever you want. I'm just gonna save it over the original video yes and then it renders so I'm gonna pause the recording real quick guys and let this render and I will see you guys in a minute alright guys I'm back and it's just about done rendering right now and then a little menu come up that says your things done and you can play it and it's all done let's make it back Ooh, to the this is for the tutorial video in on for YouTube Alright, and as you can see there, um, pretty pretty basic gunshot. I mean, it looks okay for, for your, like, your first video or whatever. Um, so yeah, guys, that is actually about it. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And if I get five likes on this video, I would do an advanced muzzle flash tutorial where it looks a lot more fancy with smoke and light on your face and all that stuff. Um, so five likes for the advanced tutorial. So yeah, guys, this is Athens of Serious Business, and I'll see you guys later.